Can you tell me a little bit about Ireland's Eye? Yeah, Ireland's Eye is a beautiful little island just one mile north of the Holt Harbour. Right. Uh, it's um, owned by the St. Lawrence family in Holt and is on lease to Antashka for 9,000 or 900 years or whatever, for a, a guinea a year. There are two buildings on the island. One is the old St. Nessens Church, which was at one stage the actual dais church for Holt, and you all had to row out there to uh, go to Mass. It was a terribly small place, so there wasn't have been many people at it. And that's been there since the sixth century. And then the other building is the Martello Tower, which were uh, built uh, in the, around the 18th century. They were all to sort of, uh, the towers all around the coast of England and Ireland to warn everybody about the Napoleonic War, etc. The interesting thing about that is that there's three stories in a Martello Tower at the entrance just uh, uh, up about 15 or 18 feet from the ground. But one story is for the stores, one story is for the platoon or 14 men, and the other story is for the officer. He gets one for himself. In 1852, we had a very mysterious murder. Uh, we had the fa uh, Kirwan, um, William Kirwan and Sarah Kirwan, used to come out to host regularly uh, in the summertime, stay in a local B&B. And they'd probably, he was a painter, an artist, and she would frequently accompany him going around uh, to the various scenic sites where he would be doing his painting. And on the 6th of September, uh, they were going over to the island. And they were collected here uh, in the harbour uh, by some of the boatmen who would row uh, out and were asked to collect them again at six o'clock in the evening. So, Surely at six o'clock they went over to um, the island and they found uh, Mr. Kieran in a fairly distressed way uh, shouting at them that he couldn't find his wife. So he said, well, we better go search for them. So they split up and started searching. And uh, one of the gentlemen, I can't remember his name now, but he found the body, saw something uh, just on top of the water in what we call the deep hole at the north uh, east end of the island. And uh, when the, Mr. Kerwin just threw himself on her and cried, oh, Marie, Marie, what, is, what has happened, and yeah. so on. And then there was a sort of, a, they assumed that she had drowned, and they sort of wrapped her up and brought her back in, in, the, in the boat and brought her to the guest house where they were staying. And presumably the local doctor or whatever uh, confirmed that she had died of drowning, or at least that's what they thought they had. Uh, but a couple of weeks later, um, it had, was discovered that Kirwan had a second life. Uh, he had a wife in Sandymount, or a woman in Sandymount, right. uh, and he had seven children by her. So this created a great scandal, and they all figured that Kirwan was, uh, may now have murdered his wife. So they arrested him and brought him to trial, and on very, very weak evidence, concluded that he was guilty. And I mean, one of the things which would never be allowed to happen today, the jury was working uh, quite a way. They came back after a few hours and they had no uh, verdict. They went out again and came back again after a few hours and had no verdict. And it was now night time. And the judge apparently said to them, well, if you can't reach a verdict, you, I'm going to lock you up without any food or did you get one? Now, can you imagine that happening today? Wouldn't happen today, no. But there was a great uh, person called Judge Bodkin who uh, had taken several cases uh, over the, 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 the period of time that he was around and he questioned all of these cases. I think there was five of them. Okay. And he wrote a very uh, long and detailed article on all the facts as they came out of that case. Right. And he said, under no circumstances could this man have killed his wife with those facts that were laid yeah. before them. So the poor guy did his 27, well, he was first sentenced to hang, and then he got off, off, sorry, he got off yeah. hanging and was got, got 20, off, yeah. 27 years. Uh, and throughout his whole time, he was in the prison in Spike Island, and I believe he was the last prisoner to leave Spike Island. And um, 
continued always to maintain his innocence. I believe it. And went off then and did marry uh, the lady from Sandy Mount in America because part of his release from prison was that he was not to live in any British domain again. Unbelievable. So, you know, there's still people here talking about uh, they hear screams on the 6th of September and things like that. Uh, I'm afraid none of us have. <laughs> <laughs> it's very mysterious. So I guess we'll never really know what he, what he did. I like wouldn't that. think so. Uh, but if one was to read the whole total trial episode now, one would think and come out on the side that she died accidentally. North in your town, with the winds bear low, may they carry my message and strike a blow. The words of the devil, oh, your love is gone. So as well, we need to be remembered that nothing. It's another trip over today to be people who want to get in here as well. So it's time to it's close for maintenance. We are <laughs> fixing it. <laughs> We're putting in new windows. Yeah. Uh -huh. 